morning, Whittier. I'm Sadie Packham, and today we're broadcasting live from Kenya. I'm Callie Campbell, and those elephants are so cool! Welcome to, to WeTV. TV. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with, with liberty, liberty and, and justice, justice for all. <laughs> Please remain standing for the Whittier Wildcat Pledge. Ready? Begin. I am a Whittier scholar. I am respectful. I am responsible. I am safe. I always do my best and I strive for excellence. Thank you. You may be seated. Let's go get in the Jeep, Callie. Okay. The survival skill of the month is disagreeing appropriately. Step one, look at the person. Step two, use a pleasant voice. Step three, tell why you feel differently. Step four, listen to the other person. I will make sure to use those to use all those tips to be a better person. Here's the PBIS video for April. We were a little late on it. One day, Marlene and Maya were playing with a basketball and Jose came out of nowhere and took it away. Hey, we were using that. Yeah, Jose, that wasn't cool. I'm sorry, Maya and Marlene, I'll ask next time. It's okay. You wanna play with us? Sure. Yeah. They all go play together. While they were playing, they remembered to ask permission before taking other people's property Close. and treat others how they want to be treated. Look at that cheetah and that zebra, awesome. I really appreciate it when people show me respect. Don't forget to buy awesome Kenyan jewelry like this. Yes, we definitely want to build more wells for those kids. That, that they do have clean water. Today, Naya is interviewing the nurse, Sandy. Welcome to Wee TV. Thank you for taking the time to let us interview you. Can you tell us a little bit of what of you do on the job? I do a lot of administrative work, um, a lot of work on the computer documentation reports, and um, I also provide first aid to students who've been injured, and um, I examine them to see if they have fevers, and then send them home if they're not feeling well. Okay. Um, do you have to go to college for this job? I did. I, have, I went to uh, Kaplan, um, University in Riverside, California, and um, completed courses there for to be able to do this. What's the craziest thing you had to do, deal with here in the nurse's office? Okay, the craziest thing, which is many, but one that um, really tops the chart would be when I had to um, EpiPen a student. What's how do you EpiPen a student like? Um, EpiPen is um, a medication. Uh, that we inject on a student that is having uh, life-threatening allergies. Uh, for instance, someone can be allergic to peanut butter or a bee sting. The allergy can be extremely severe where they can die. So um, we have auto injectors where we can EpiPen a student on their leg to counteract the allergy and save their life. Okay, yeah. wow. That's pretty intense. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, okay. Um, about how many kids come in here like every day, about Ooh, an average? It averages probably between, um, probably around 40 to 50 students a day. Dang. Yeah. Um, do you have anything to tell us to decrease the number of students coming in here daily? I do. I think that um, with the hot weather coming up, summer coming up, I think it would um, help students to know that they need to drink plenty of water because I'm seeing um, an increased amount of students coming in for overheating when overheating can be prevented by one, drinking lots of water. Um, they should be drinking about two to four cups an hour, uh, wearing loose clothing, staying away from direct sunlight. Um, on hot days and um, if they do feel hot they should you know put some water on their head to help cool them down but number one thing is dehydration that's what causes overheating 
and it can be preventable. Um, when you feel thirsty, it's, it's already past the time that you um, are already dehydrated. So you shouldn't drink water only when you're thirsty. You should drink water um, constantly throughout the day to prevent overheating. Thank you for letting us interview you. Thanks back for coming. <laughs> back to you in the studio. <laughs> Thank you, Naida and Mrs. Figueroa. Make sure to drink lots of water. Look at those giraffes, Callie. Look how big they are. Science Night was a huge success. Yeah, it was really cool. Make sure to check out the pictures on What's Up Whittier. Thanks to all the amazing students who donated to the animal shelter. Our furry friends are way happier because we were able to gather many needed items that we will be taking over very soon. I think that those animals will really like our donations. The drive ends tomorrow, so if you have any donations, make sure to bring them in. Tomorrow is May 4th. Make sure you dress in Star Wars, and may the 4th be with you. Guess what? The fun run is coming up next Wednesday. Make sure to wear comfortable shoes to run in. I'm excited to see who gets the most laps. Open house. It will be so fun. Here's the fun fact of the day. Did you know that the people in Kenya drive on the left side of the road? Wow, I did not know that. We drive on the right side of the road. Did you know that 14 Falls in Thika is one of the longest and steepest waterfalls in Africa? That's really cool. I hope I get to see it someday. Look behind you. Anywho, first place for the poll is Japan. Second was Hawaii, and third was New York. Yay, I voted for Hawaii. I really want to go there. Thanks for watching we TV. Have a fantastic day, and enjoy What's Up Whittier coming up right now.